Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Learn and Earn. I'm myself Dayanand. So let's continue with Excel VBA 2016, a beginners to advanced edition. And here I'm with part eight. Uh, if here in this video, we discuss concepts on accepting values from input box and how do we pop the value back on the message box, which will be quite interesting here. I'll show you a, a pop-up message box and then uh, I'll literally show you how do you code them, the programming bit I'll explain you here. So the list of topics I cover today in this video is number one, input box and message box, number two, text box, button and other control I'll give you the introduction to other controls as well and reading values from text box and how do you redirect from text box to Excel worksheet through cell referencing. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's get on with the, the session today. And before we continue, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and please do share it on your Facebook or WhatsApp. So get more people on the board. So it will really help everybody together. We can make money and also earn some uh, beautiful skills. Okay, let's get started. Number one, so input box and message box. What is an input box? I'll show you an example here. This is how it appears. This is called an input box. Where can I use it? Uh, depends on your objective of your Excel. For example, say you, you may would like to know the user works on the Excel every time he opens it. Say you're working in a company and it is a shared workbook and you would like to know who edits the workbook. Moment you, uh, moment somebody opens the worksheet, you may want to know what's their name. So you say, what is your username? So they mention their username and click on OK. And this is called input box and this is what the value we receive from the input box this can be stored into a variable and then can be used for our further processing you may pop back a message saying hello hello dayananda or you may save this value in somewhere in the sheet take a real-time scenario you're working in an office and then you have a shared workbook so you would like to know who edits that workbook every time so how do we know it? It's not so easy. Excel has no uh, way of uh, tracking the users unless you set some track changes values. But using this macros VBA, you can easily uh, set, you can easily uh, track people who actually log in or work on it. So let me show you uh, how do we do it. This is the workbook. I would like me to keep a track of everybody who works on this workbook. So every time they open a workbook, I would like to ask, what is your username? They enter the username and then I'll store the username somewhere secretly. Okay, let's get this opened. So for this, you need to go to VBA editor and the developer, Visual Basic. And here, make sure that you click on this workbook. This workbook and in the dropdown, make sure that you have selected workbook and in the event handler section, you need to choose open, which means every time the workbook opens, the system should ask for the username. Let's program it. Number one, you need to know here, the syntax is simple. Input, box, open bracket, close bracket. Inside, double quotes, open double quotes and close. Now, I'll say, may I, know your username this is my simple one line statement if i run this pressing this button run it says may i know your username and somebody types their username say my username is my name itself and they say okay then I use this answer what they have given in the box and store it somewhere in the worksheet secretly. Okay. For this, what we have to do, we have to save this value somewhere and in a variable. So we need to declare variable for time being, know how to declare variable for your information. What is variable? It's one single 
the definition I'll give you variable is something which is not constant that's why it's called variable yeah so variable the value keeps changing it is just a name given or to a space where the value gets stored every time okay but I'll teach you more about this uh, variable in when it comes to examples let me take dim is the keyword we use to declare variable the variable name is user and variable type is I'm going to use this type as variant so best way if you do not know what value comes in user you may declare user as a numeric or you may declare them as a character but when you choose if, if you don't know what value comes in user you can choose them as variant so variant is generic data type which can any value can fit in this user variable any value can fit in it can be number even a special character or just uh, characters alphabets anything can go into user so best way if you don't know which is the data type you're going to use or you're going to receive from the user just declare them as variant okay and use this here the same user is equal to input box may i know your username so whatever the answer they give here that comes and sits in user variable now i am going to store this user variable in some cell for my example i'll keep it to one comma one which is a1 how do i i just need to same use the same user and save it in the cell one so what is happening here is so we are asking may i know your username the user gives the username and username is being saved here in cell one comma one so let us save it and try running it let's see if it works may i know your username that is the pop-up my username is my name itself and i say okay okay the program ended you can see it here so the username is now currently saved in one comma one this is the uh, use of input box now how can i use message box along with input box i can simply use message box to give some message to him let us say hello and i can use the username which you are given here this is the syntax you need to use remember you will use this is exactly how you need to use message box and put whatever you would like to the message here and i'm giving a space to look neat and then the user whatever the answer they have given will come and display in the message box i'll show you how it looks like may i know your username my name is my username is dayananda and i say okay it says hello dayananda and that is the message box which says hello to me and then the value gets stored in the a1 okay that was the topic one my input box and message box let's move on to the topic two text box and button other control information introduction so uh, when it when you come to developer in this ribbon bar you find insert here you find form controls and activex control right form controls and activex control say so here are the the list of available controls you can use in your form or in your macros okay so activex so this is how you if you click drag and drop it here so you will find a button you can literally have a button here and then double click on it and start writing the code for that button itself okay so this is the button and you also have a radio button a something with text here label checkbox also you have combo box you do have a text box to edit values say for example this is how it will look like so you somebody can type inside of this text box also right so and one important stuff you need to know here we use this form control when it comes to a macro a recorded macro to assign and we use this activex control when we need when we write some code so most uh, probably in all my examples i'll be using only activex controls only these controls they're very similar to form controls but these controls are much uh, easy when it comes to programming the vba excel okay so that's a bit of introduction for you you'll get more about this when we start working out in the example section 
now let me move on to the next topic here reading values from text box and and redirecting from text box to excel through cell referencing have a look at this example using this activex control i have inserted a label saying username a text box which is here and the a button which is here when you insert them you can go to click on the right click and go to label object click on edit so that you can edit your username similarly you can also edit the button as well go to command button object and click on edit and you can also edit that okay now this is the text box anything which enters here when we click on submit I want that value to to be saved here in the cell a1 okay that's nothing but reading the value from text box and then redirecting the value from the text box to the excel cell worksheet okay and go to developer and go to the submit click on submit button just right click on it and click on view code or simply double click which will open your vba editor page see these two lines first line i'm telling cells one comma one in one comma one put the value whatever the value of text box one is so text box has got a name every object will have a name in excel so this object has a name called text box one and this has command button one okay the, just double click on the submit button or right click and click on view code so you will be on vba editor and these are the two lines the simplest program here so first line says cells one comma one is equal to text box one dot value so i'll write this for you so that you will know what am i exactly doing cells is the syntax one comma one nothing but first shows the row and then the column is equal to text box one comma one text box one you need to put a dot and then type value v a l U E and so you can see them already highlighted here and press enter okay so I'm telling whatever the value goes into text box one should be saved in cell one comma one next message box in message box I would like to show the same value whichever comes in the text box one I would like this to be uh, displayed on a message box okay MSG BOX is a syntax and just copy paste whatever there here and just copy it and paste it here okay that's it save it and then close it now you need to do one thing you need to click on design mode to turn off so you can see the the description you will use this to turn off and on what happens when it is design mode is on you can design it you can edit it when design mode is off this will work like a button okay now once design mode is off let me write this says the channel name learn and earn and when i click on submit button this value goes and sits in the one comma one which is a1 and also message box comes up with the same value let me try this okay you could see this here the value come upon one comma one that is a1 and also message box displaying learn and earn okay so using these basic building blocks you can develop your form you can develop your uh, more and more concept on you are using how do you use input box and then message box uh, you will get a lot of codes available in google pick them up and then put them on your excel and see if this can work and then uh, try working out at home you will definitely spend some time on it get your hands dirty with this uh, uh, playing with this controls on excel vba you would certainly be able to get to the next level and from there continue watching the the coming videos what we uh, have in the playlist which will be we will discuss more on worksheet workbook referencing cell and range etc and after right after this ninth video we will move on to 15 examples uh, this is all for today's video again please do share it with your friends uh, through whatsapp or facebook so let everybody learn through this and please do subscribe to the channel happy learning all is well